Caribbean News Lane. CARICOM leaders discuss a new governance structure. The Antigua Opposition Labour Party tells the government to backtrack on threats to impose sanctions against the US. And in sport, Holland reached the World Cup final for the first time in 32 years. continue to track developments at the 31st CARICOM Heads of Government Summit in Jamaica's second city, Montego Bay. It's Tuesday, July 6th. With the news, I'm Ben Mead. Thanks for joining us. Governance issues topped the agenda even as two CARICOM leaders made an early exit from the summit stage. Dominica's Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt and Antigua's Baldwin Spencer left the meeting today on account of urgent domestic matters at home. St. Lucia's Prime Minister Stevenson King, however, made his appearance, joining the seven remaining leaders. At the summit table, heads presented solid proposals to strengthen the governance structure of the regional grouping. It's been a neglected issue for years, but now there's optimism it's finally getting the attention it deserves. CMC's Kemar Jordan is at the summit. <laughs> It's time for action on a new governance arrangement for CARICOM. The initial signal came from host Prime Minister Bruce Golding at the start of this week's Jamaica summit that the issue can no longer be avoided, bearing in mind calls from some regional commentators for leaders to either put up or shut up on this matter. Well, it was the St. Kitts and Nevis Prime Minister, Dr. Denzel Douglas, who was most vocal on the issue on Tuesday. As he headed into closed-door talks with his regional counterparts, Douglas told reporters that a new arrangement was already in the making to take forward regional decision-making. Douglas, however, indicated that the long-mooted idea of a European-styled CARICOM commission is off the table for now, but he spoke of a new CARICOM council. The governance structure was where we left um, in our special session last night. We broke from caucus, went into a special session. We believe that if the... Um, regional integration movement is to really meet the needs of the people in um, this current times of difficulties it has to be restructured well, what is this structure what is this structure it is it is ensuring that there is possibly a council permanent body maybe that would be able to continue on a daily basis to look after the interests of the community and this has the support now of heads because this has been on the table for a while there was a council of ministers. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about uh, a permanent council to be structured slightly differently. It is the modalities, really, that we are going to be working out over the next maybe three months. And this has the support of heads? It's the heads who took the decision. Including Jamaica? <laughs> Jamaica yeah. is the chair. Uh, what, what, what position <laughs> is Jamaica bringing? Because I understand Jamaica is bringing a new proposal on that. Government. Not necessarily. We are saying that there needs to be a permanent body that will be looking after the interest, the intricacies of the matters that we make decisions on to have them implemented. The question of implementation seems to be a problem. Is that what Jamaica is bringing, that proposal? That is the position that we have been taking. Let me I'm asking specifically, is that the proposal Jamaica has? You should ask Jamaica that. Let me ask you, Prime Minister, coming out of the OECS recent experience, in particular the OECS Union, there is a governance structure. Would you have preferred if that was the one character? That, of course, is something that we would want to have um, discussed in great detail. The, the difference here is that there are working groups to look at specific matters in an ongoing basis. And I think that is what is lacking here in CARICOM. Why I keep pressing this, Prime Minister, is that we know of the history where one Jamaica Prime Minister famously said that the independence and sovereignty of Jamaica begins and ends at Palazzi Airport. Um, um, has that position changed? Are we really going to move forward with this governance issue? Are we still spinning top in mud? We're not spinning any top in mud at all. We, I think we are making some, some traction. We are making movement. 
The question is, we have sat down last night, realistically, things can be different. And we would want to make sure that things are different. We believe that all heads are on board in recognizing that the implementation mechanism is not working. And we want to make it work. Are you doing, are you doing that? Okay, Mr. Five Minister, <laughs> against the background of five of your heads. I'm not... saying, don't speak of numbers here. The heads are the heads. And you're saying whatever decision is taken here, it will be binding? We would expect it to be binding. The heads take the decisions. But I mean, for instance, Prime Minister Gonzalez has been key in this whole debate about governance. I am, sure that, I am sure that what, what I am sure what comes out from this would be acceptable to Gonzalez. Okay. I have Thank to go. So Prime Minister Dr. Denzel Douglas.